Alternatives to a closed book exam. Hi there, I'm Chris Borger from the Center of Teaching and Learning at the University of Alberta. Today we'll be talking about alternatives to a traditional closed book final exam. Traditionally, final exams took place synchronously, in person, with students writing from memory while being watched by a proctor. We all remember this, right? With the constraints of the new remote and online learning environments that we face, assessing student learning using a traditional method can be challenging. And not challenging in a fun way, by the way, challenging in a frustrating way that makes you cry into your laptop. Yes, there are services that offer remote proctoring, but this is often expensive and they require students to have a highly reliable internet connection. Instead, CTL is encouraging instructors to seek alternative ways of assessing their students. In this video, we will be primarily discussing 1. Product-based assessments 2. The Open Book Exam 3. The Take-Home Exam 4. The Oral Exam and 5. The Professional Presentation First, ask yourself, why an exam? As the UAPPOL states, assessments in your course should be used to determine if students have met the specific learning outcomes of your course. Yes, an exam can do this, and it can certainly control some factors during the assessment process, but is an exam the only way to possibly measure student learning? No, no it is not. So how can I evaluate without a traditional exam? The answer to this question is going to vary from course to course, and there are many different ways instructors might assess their students without a traditional exam. Let's start with assessments to use in place of a high-stakes traditional exam. 1. Product-based assessments. The recommended E-Class tool pairing for this, assignments. Perhaps your course outcomes can be easily assessed in a small-scale project or paper. With a product-based assessment, you are asking students to both synthesize and apply their knowledge to produce some type of artifact. Be it a paper, a website, a video, a podcast, an infographic, or anything else, students can showcase their learning and deep understanding of the course content through creation. As one example, a professor on campus discussed with us at the Center for Teaching and Learning how she'd assess students on eight of her nine units by the time finals had arrived. Given this, she decided to alter her final exam to be a short research project on topics related to the ninth unit in her course. This way, students were able to show their knowledge on all the topics in their course. In general, these projects, or papers, ask students to complete a task or respond to a question using research and are assigned over two to three weeks. We recommend assessing this type of work with a well-created rubric. Click on link A below in the description to learn more about rubric creation. As a note, using eClass, you are able to distribute multiple versions of an assignment to students. This can be used to prevent copying and collaborating. Click on link B below in the description to learn more about this tool. Instructors assessing students using a project or paper might use this feature to assign each student one of a selection of essay questions or topics for their project or paper. Two, the open book exam. The recommended E-class pairing for this, quiz. If you still wanna have an exam type assignment, consider having more frequent, smaller stakes exams. These might appear to be a traditional exam that has been put online, but there are some significant differences. One, the open book exam accepts that students will have access to their notes, textbook, and the internet, namely Google. Two, the open book exam accepts that students may have access to their peers. For this reason, open book exams often have very strict time limits. Note that it generally takes students three to four times longer to complete an exam than their instructor. Open book exams can contain some auto-graded questions, such as multiple choice, short answer, or labeling, but most often use short and long written response questions. Essentially, if your student is able to find the answer with a simple Google search, it is not advisable to include that in your open book exam. Questions should require higher order thinking and should be written in such a way that students need to apply and synthesize the course content that they've learned over the semester. 
Common examples of these types of questions include scenarios and case studies, questions where students must justify a response, and questions with multiple and subjective ways to reach a solution. E-Class offers solutions to assist with open book exams to prevent academic integrity infractions. From shuffling questions to shuffling responses, E-Class can help you ensure your assessments are indeed accurate. Click on link C below in the description to learn more about these tools. In fact, E-Class can also help you provide completely different versions of your test. To learn more about how to do this, click on link D in the description below. 3. The Take-Home Exam The recommended E-Class tool pairing for this, Assignments or Crowdmark for math or drawing-based questions. Similar to the Open Book Exam, the Take-Home Exam assumes that students will have access to their peers, their notes, their textbooks, and the internet. However, the take-home exam gives students an extended time period to complete. For example, students may receive the questions 24 hours prior to requiring their submission. These type of exams are most often written response questions and require higher level thinking skills to complete them. Often, questions one, require a justifying response, and commonly, two, ask questions with no single correct answer. While it's not developed for post-secondary institutions, this document gives advice on preparing a take-home exam that you may find useful. Click on link E in the video description for a link to this document. Guess what? E-Class can help you out again. Using E-Class, you are able to distribute multiple versions of an assignment, quiz, or take-home exam to individual students. Click on link F below to learn more about this E-Class tool. Four, the oral exam. The recommended educational tool pairing for this is Zoom. For an oral exam, questions are prepared that require a solid grasp of the course's learning outcomes to answer correctly. These questions can either be shared with students in advance or not. The instructor or TA would then ask these carefully prepared questions to students who would respond to show their understanding of the course content. While this can be stressful for students, it can also provide authentic practice for responding to content-based questions during job interviews after completing their degree. Note that this type of exam requires a large time commitment from instructors for each student and is not recommended for larger classes. If you're interested in using oral exams in your course, you may find this document from the University of Wollongong helpful. Click on link G in the description below for a link to this document on oral exams. Number five, the professional presentation. The recommended educational tool pairing for this, Zoom. Like an oral exam, a professional presentation provides students with authentic practice that can prepare them for their professional lives. A number of courses have content that would realistically have to be communicated by a professional within their field of practice. Again, like an oral exam, this can seem stressful for students, but the practical professional communication skills that can be developed cannot be ignored and are crucial for success in professional careers beyond post-secondary. For example, in architecture and city and regional planning, students often present their projects to a simulated community board, or in secondary education, students will present their proposed unit plan to a department head. The use of role play within student presentations makes them more authentic. As well, it helps them develop an ability to communicate to a certain audience. Presentations will be unique to each student or group of students if assigned a team presentation and will require students to analyze, apply, and communicate course content. By having students deal with course contents at higher levels of understanding, academic integrity violations will become less likely. There are certainly more options for your final assessment than what we just discussed in this video. To learn more about your options, click on link H in the description for a link to an infographic that covers even more assessment methods that act as alternatives to a traditional closed book final exam. Think of each point on these lines as stations on a track. You don't have to stop at every station on your way to your destination, but you can if you want to. So you can choose to use one or several of these assessments relative to which learning dimension you would like to be assessing. Thanks for watching this video. 
We trust that you now know of your options for alternatives to a traditional closed book final exam. This video is part of a series of resources from the CTL that covers pedagogical advice for final assessments. Click on link I below in the description to learn more about this series.